Hey, Midjourney just got an update. Version 7 is now the default for every user, but the bigger news is that they updated their style reference system. It's much smarter and it's much less likely to get that undesired subject leakage in your pictures. There is also a new random style generator that is much more diverse than before. It's a lot of fun to use. Here's a picture the Midjourney team posted showing it off. I guess the prompt was like an eyeball and all these different random styles. So if you were to go into your prompt and type your subject whatever you want and then type dash dash sref followed by the word random you're going to be letting Midjourney come up with a random style for you. These random styles are generated through codes, big long numbers, well short numbers too, one to like four billion. I really like these ones right here in the middle and the ones on the top. The bottom, that's not my color palette, but maybe you'll like that. This random system has worked like this for the last year, so you may be familiar with it. But all of these numbers used to mean something different. Let me show you. Two days ago, if you were to prompt for anything with this SREF code 120428850, you would get pictures that look like these, this dark charcoal style. If you use that code today, you're gonna get these. Quite different, right? Like extremely different. Every number is now associated with a new style. That means all of the numbers you've been hunting and cataloging for the last year are no longer relevant. But there is a way to get around this. Let me show you. If we wanted that charcoal style, we can do this. We're going to add the code to the prompt. We'll use a walrus again. And then to make this number apply the old style, we're going to be adding dash dash SV and then the number four style version four. If you wanted to see this code in the new version, you actually don't have to type anything. Running this alone will run it on the version 7 algorithm. Or you could type dash dash SV style version 6. Don't ask what happened to style version 5, nobody knows. There is some more stuff to show you, but I want to reiterate how you can explore quickly using the repeat parameter. Your subject dash dash SREF random dash dash repeat and then a number between like 0 and 30. Go between like 3 and 6, you know, save your fast hours. And you'll get some pictures like these. I love these ones down here. The middle is actually kind of cool and I like this style up here. And then take a look at these. Honestly the same thing, I kind of love them all. This new style update is the real deal. Mid Journey makes beautiful pictures and this update is no exception. <laughs> it just works really really well. Ooh, and then we have these slick anime pictures as well as what does this remind you of? I feel like I've seen this type of image before. I'm sure that's not going to surprise you when it comes to AI. These things obviously learn from something, but I do like those pictures. Yeah, like that's unreal. Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you is what happens when you attach a picture as a style reference rather than using these codes. So if you go to the top and click on add images next to the prompt box, we can then select a picture. Let's go with this one right here and we're gonna add it as a style reference at the top. It's this yellow, green, reddish look. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna write a very simple prompt. Let's go with Batman and see what happens. Previously, as in yesterday, Batman would come out looking like a skull or something like that. Like the subject leakage would really come through. Batman would kind of look like this thing here. Now with this update, we get much more of the style itself, that color palette. Is this your preference? I don't know, maybe you like the old system. So we can actually use that style version parameter we saw earlier. So if we were to take that picture, use it as a style reference, and then type dash dash SV1 in our prompt, we're going to get pictures that look like this. What do you think? Quite different than the newest generations we just looked at. Here's style version 2. Honestly, I don't know if there's a rhyme or reason to what you're going to see. I mean, that's kind of par for the course when it comes to AI. But this is the workflow you'll go through if you're searching for something specific. Like style version 3 is pretty sick. The subject is a lot more prominent. The red background is quite striking. Maybe you're a fan of those. Then we have style version 4, and I'd say the color palette becomes a little more dominant here. Like this picture is great. I like that a lot. Funny enough, style version 5 does work when you attach a style reference. It doesn't work with the reference codes, but here you go, that's style version 5 in version 7. And like those are pretty cool as well. I think the pictures are a little more subtle in a way. And then we have SV6, quite different than 5, which is quite different than the others. Again, this is the newest algorithm, the update, but those other versions are available to you. 
please don't forget about that. This whole style update also applies to your mood boards. So make sure you try those out. Here are some great pictures of Batman in my Unsplash mood board, which is this sort of cinematic feel. Some of these are just absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at that picture. We have some characters in my card design mood board. Look, like, look at that picture. It's not necessarily a card design, but the prompt didn't mention that. This was just an Instagram model and like, oh, that is so gorgeous. Hazy armor is looking good. Dude, sci-fi black black and white, look how unreal that is. Mood boards were definitely a little hit and miss when version 7 first launched. Now I'm actually a big fan, I think it just does a way better job. Not only in matching the style, but in creating good looking pictures. I mean, that's kind of the point of the whole thing, right? Like take a look at this Geo Glow mood board. Unreal. Okay, that's crazy. And if you want to try this yourself, you can use this code right here, 3OCJFON. If you want hundreds of others and you want to learn mid-journey in a structured environment, make sure you check out my community on the school platform. Link is in the description below. Like we were having a lot of fun yesterday with this neon portrait code, L-L-G-K-O-O-J. First, I love that code because it's so close to LL Cool J, like that's unreal, LLG Cool J. It's a cool code. And I like the results a lot. Make sure you try it in Niji Journey. Look how unreal. Ooh, that is one of my favorite pictures ever, maybe. I love how the blue of the bat symbol stretches down into his arm. Just crazy colors right here. And then look at that. Like, Jesus, man. I'm at a loss for words. I think <laughs> it's just amazing. Bumping up the chaos was a lot of fun. Check out this kangaroo warrior. Valerie in my community came out with this picture. Just unreal composition right here. I actually love the little city in the background on that pink horizon. Great stuff. Really cool pictures of Batman and Robin here. This is just unreal. These were made by Brett and like, that's a great picture. I guess that's it for this update, but Mid Journey video is coming soon, so make sure you subscribe. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have fun with this. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.